Hello everyone and welcome to Ian's Bricks. As you can see behind me I've got quite a few boxes and packages to open. Uh, this is all the stuff I've been buying and have received over the last couple of weeks. Uh, I've sort of steadily been stacking things up. As you can see I've got a few boxes here. The big one is from Lego. I've got something from Very, a couple of Amazon boxes as well. Something from uh, the Lego Pick a Brick as well which is unusual for me and I've got 21 bags to open from Argos. I'm hoping that the quality of the boxes inside are okay. They've had some really good deals in there so I couldn't resist. I know what you're going to say Ian, you always moan about Argos boxes. I know but uh, hopefully they've uh, improved. I've had a good feel of the boxes. They feel okay but I haven't opened any of these so we'll have a look at those and see what they're like. But I'm going to start off with a package from uh, Pick a Brick. Uh, so this is something that uh, I ordered quite a while ago actually. Uh, I have already opened it. I normally keep these things sealed until until a uh, camera but I wasn't quite sure what this was and I kind of opened them that oh, okay it's my Lego pick a brick order so what I got is this here it's a bag of goats <laughs> <laughs> so the Lego Goat, if you do or don't know, uh, Lego Goat is a, a piece that um, only ever came in one or two sets sort of 10, 12 years ago, maybe longer ago than that. And they just started to reintroduce them. And this is the goat here, the grey goat, uh, that is actually from the uh, medieval market town or something like that. I can't remember the set number now, but uh, uh, this is sort of the dual moulded one with the, the dark grey goat uh, with, the, um, uh, with the sort of the... Uh, uh, lighter coloured uh, horns on them there. Uh, I've got, uh, I think I've got 12 of these all together. Um, they were quite expensive, £4.92 each, ouch! Um, but uh, because I ordered so many you get free post and packing with this. But yeah, take a while. They, they do individually pick these orders so I understand why it takes quite a while. Uh, what I'm going to do with these I actually don't know. I don't really have any sort of towns or medieval uh, scenes to put these in but I just thought it was a good opportunity for such a sort after piece um, to, to pick up a few of these. Uh, something I wouldn't normally do but maybe these will sell on uh, in the future. Keep Hang on to them for a little while until they go out of stock on Pick a Brick. They're, they've been in, our, in and out of stock on Pick a Brick recently. They are I think back on at the moment certainly in Europe but uh, yeah just a good opportunity even at uh, nearly £5 each to pick a few of these up. Uh, really nice got little printed eyes on them as well. I don't know if you can see that the camera isn't quite picking those up on my there we go. Anyway, you can see I, I think they're really, really nice and you've got the little little bit hanging down from the chin as well. So, yeah, 12 of those. Now, of the rest of the things here, uh, what I'll probably do first is I'll get into the boxes and we'll do all the Argos stuff at the end. On to the first box. This is from lego.com. I've actually had this for a couple of weeks. Uh, so let's get this open and uh, remind myself what I bought. Okay, so we have some free gifts first of all, or a free gift. And this is this set here. So this is uh, a set that they're no longer doing as a free gift. They'll probably do it again. But it's the uh, Sweet Shop 40692 is the set number. You had to spend over £180 to get this here in the UK. Not everybody's favourite thing. I think it's quite quirky, quite interesting. Uh, I do like this. I think I picked one of these up in the Lego store as well. But that's the, only the second one of those that I've got. So I got myself one of those. I also got myself this. So this wasn't exactly a free gift. I did have to spend some uh, insider points to get this, but normally this is, I think, 2,700 insider points, which works out at around about 16-ish pounds here in the UK. It's the World of Wonders 40585. Uh, these are fairly readily available if you have some insider's points, but there was a short time back in July uh, when these particular sets were um, half the insider points. So they were uh, like 1,350 insider points. I only picked up the one at that amount but I just thought that was a good thing to buy. 1350 points, it's probably around about eight or nine pounds. These sell for sort of at least 25 to 30 at brick fairs and festivals. So I just think that's a nice thing to get uh, for basically not spending any specific money. Um, and there's also another free gift as well, which is this. Now this, <laughs> I don't think is actually very good, but I decided to get one anyway. You had to spend on certain themes. I think one of the themes was City. Um, but let's get this all open. And it is apparently a beach bag. Okay, I don't think it's anything I'll be using. Uh, but um, yeah, it's interesting. It's kind of this uh, cloth material. It has got a zip on it, actually. Uh, I didn't get one of these in store. 
I didn't want to spend too too many buy too many Lego uh, city sets, but that's an okay little thing. It's nothing special, uh, but it's quite quirky. It's got some Lego pieces on the outside, but um, hey ho, that's one of those things. But I think you had to spend over. I'd like to say about 50 or 60 pounds on certain themes. One of them I'd say was Lego City. Um, but uh, yeah, I got myself one of those. I'll probably just end up selling these on at uh, one of my Lego fairs or festivals. So yeah, something different. Uh, I don't mind when Lego do something different. I do prefer gifts, free gifts to be um, actual Lego rather than things like this. But uh, there you go, it's just one of those things. Uh, what else do we have in here? I think the rest of these are actual um, sets that I bought. So I spent well over £180. Uh, this is one of the sets I got and I actually got this on discount as well. So around the middle of July, I think it was to compete with um, Amazon Prime uh, special day. Uh, they had this at, uh, I think it was 20% off. These are normally 58 pounds and it was just over 40 pounds 43232 is the set number it's the disney 100 it's sounded kind of the peter pan um thing here you've got big ben here and the sort of the mini scale london here uh, unusual set i quite like it it's got some nice figures in there i think the wendy is the only uh, the wendy that you can get uh, from uh, from lego so they've got the wendy figure there obviously peter pan they've done before i think they've got tinkerbell as well they've done tinkerbell before in in different themes but uh, yeah that's a nice little set so i actually got two of those and there's the second one both boxes very good condition so good to get a couple of those i also got myself some brick heads a lot of disney stuff here as well i think did i have to order a certain amount on disney i can't remember now uh, 40621 anyway is the set number this is moana and uh, merida it's the first one of those that i've got i probably won't be picking too many of these but i don't think they're that popular but i always like to get myself at least one of the certain styles of brick heads before they retire the other one being the villain set uh, which is cruella and uh, maleficent uh, so that set number there is 40620. So I've got myself one of those. Again, I think it's the first one of those that I've got. Uh, what else did I get? Uh, I also got myself a Harry Potter brick head as well. Uh, 40618, the Kingsley and the Tonks. Uh, not got many of these. I think I picked up one in the Lego store recently, but uh, I don't have too many of these. Again, another set that's retiring. So you know I do like my brick heads. And there's one more big set in here, uh, which is the Lego city set uh, that I had to buy to get the beach bag and I bought myself uh, the train station and I think this was reduced as well I think it was down from uh, 70 pounds to 52 I'd like to say it was around about 20% off uh, you don't see this very often reduced it is on Amazon in the UK but they very very rarely have this reduced so uh, I think uh, Lego train stations tend to do okay so I think it was just a good opportunity to uh, to pick this up and uh, uh, and add this to sort of my uh, inventory for for research so that is everything that box is empty let's move this all out onto the floor so that's the Lego box out of the way. The next one I'm going to get into is this really heavy box here. And this is from Very. As you can see, they've very kindly put this in one of these ready to ship boxes. Now it's probably Lego that did that rather than, um, rather than Very themselves. So I just need to find my knife to get this open. There we go, I found it. It was hiding away. Uh, so let's get this open. There we are. Right, let me just show you what we have, and it's the El Dorado Fortress, so another set that's retiring at the end of this year, 10320 is the set number. Um, I'm not so sure how well this will do once it retires, I know there have been a few, there was the Medieval Blacksmith last year, which really hasn't increased in value as a sort of a reseller kind of thing, so not quite sure how this will do. I think it should perform okay, but it might take a little bit longer um, to sort of really increase in value. So this set is normal. 189.99, £190 here in the UK. Uh, Very had this on offer with 20% off, which means I spent uh, it was 152. So I think that was a pretty good price for this set. You don't very often see these discounted. It is an exclusive uh, from Very, so you can get it from Very and obviously from Lego stores as well. Uh, but yeah, they don't really have um, huge discounts on some of the larger sets at Very. So I just thought it was a good opportunity while I saw it slightly discounted to pick that particular set up uh, because um, yeah I've got a couple of these already but I think for most of them I've actually paid uh, full price 
for most of them so um, yeah it's not really what you want to be doing but uh, yeah I just thought that was a good, good opportunity to uh, pick that up Next up then, I'm going to get into this little box here, which is from Amazon. It's a little bit battered, as you can see, so I'm hoping the contents inside are okay. All right, let's have a look. They seem to be okay. So I've got myself um, six of these sets here. So uh, let's get this the right way around. Uh, where's the front of the box? Uh, there we are. 76276 is the set number. It's the Venom Mech Armor V Miles Morales. You get two minifigures with this. Uh, this normally retails, I think, at... 12 or 13.99 and they've been an offer in Sainsbury where you can get two of them for 15 pounds the reason I hadn't picked them up at Sainsbury is because um, obviously with the Sainsbury you get the huge Sainsbury sticker on I don't like like them anyway and for smaller sets I just thought oh, it's not really worth it but Amazon were price matching uh, for a very short period of time so you could get the two for 15 pounds but they also had if you ordered over four you got another five percent off so that basically meant that I paid six pound 85 for these uh, I don't think these are going to go straight Stratospheric, personally, they're on the retirement list for this year. They're quite nice little things, things that'll sell well at sort of fairs and things like that for me. So I've got six of these all together. Let's just check the box condition. A little bit of a squeeze on the bottom of that, but nothing too much. I think the rest of them look okay. Yeah, they seem all right. A lot of these smaller boxes, they're very flimsy. They don't have a lot of give in them, so they do get easily damaged. So it's nice to sort of get things uh, delivered that uh, haven't been damaged. I've got one more box here from Amazon. And this was a, a Prime, uh, an Amazon Prime uh, weekend. It took a, uh, a little bit longer for these two to come through. So I didn't end up doing them in my Prime video. As I did a week or so ago. And we have this set here. So this is a set I don't think I've got any of yet. A set that is on the retirement list for this year. I think it may be extended, but we'll have to wait and see. The Emperor's Throne Room uh, from Star Wars 75352. These are normally £90 here in the UK. I think that's very expensive for this size of box. Nice little set though, nice little diorama. You get the three uh, minifigures there. Uh, but this was reduced on Amazon. I think it was down to £57. So from 90 to 57 it's more than a third off. So I think that was definitely worth getting two of these. I only got two. I'm very um, cagey about whether these will actually retire this year. Uh, I know they're on the list at the moment, but uh, like I do have a tendency to change things if things are selling quite well. Maybe not that popular a set, but I think because it's not been that popular, maybe people haven't got it um, and probably aren't aware that it's maybe retiring so soon. So that's all of the box sets. Now what I have got is a load of stuff from Argos. I've got quite a few duplicates. So what I've done is I want to show you the first three sets here and these are all things that I ordered so Argos had a special deal um, two for two for 30 two for 20 that ran out at the end of July so these are from the older style sort of uh, offer that they had towards they've had it since uh, February or March I think it's been on for quite a while you'll have seen me buy quite a lot of these sets in the past So first up then we have this set here and that is the uh, the Technic John Deere tractor. Uh, I've got loads of these to be quite honest. I think they're really good sets. £25 recommended retail price uh, but they were two for 30 which means they were £15 each. I think that was a pretty good deal. So the box is actually really good. You can see it's from Argos because it's got their sticker on. They do peel off quite easily so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Is that going to stay there? No I don't think it will so let me just pop that there. Let's get into the other two sets then that will be different. And we have this set here, the city set. Uh, this is 60369. This is sort of the police training thing. I like this one because you get the small version of the German Shepherd or the police dog. You get the largest sheep dog and you get this guy here with the uh, uh, with the cactus arms here with his, uh, with his uh, dog bite suit on. So nice little set. Again, normally £18 uh, and this was two for 20 so basically £10 each. So that was a really good price on that. And the third set that I got was 
this set here and again you've seen me pick loads of these up over the past uh, few months the Miles Morales for Morbius 76244 um, from from Marvel 20 pounds normally two for 20 pounds so that makes basically made them 10 pound each so I actually got two each of all of these I'll open the others in a second they're down here the whole bill should have been 70 pounds so we had um, four lots of sets at two for 20 which is 40 pounds and then two lots of sets of Technic at two for 30 so the whole order was 70 pounds I use my perks at work thing so it's um, I've talked about this before it's this thing if I buy uh, I, I buy things at uh, supermarkets like Aldi and Sainsbury uh, and when I buy things at Argos I always use my perks at work and I get sort of points uh, and I get quite a decent percentage I think Sainsbury is like five or six percent Tesco is about five percent Argos is five percent so it all sort of adds up every time I place an order with these companies or just do my food shopping I'll buy these vouchers via the perks at work uh, and uh, I had eight pounds worth of these vouchers have had matured by that stage so that whole order cost me £62. So I've got six sets all together. It basically took another £2 each off the, the bigger sets uh, and then an extra pound each, I think I'm right in saying, maybe a pound fifty off the smaller sets. So that reduced the price of those sets uh, by even more. So let me just get into the remainder of these bags here and uh, we'll see what they look like. Well, I'm pleased to say that all three of those sets are in very, very good nick. So um, I think Argos hopefully are now paying attention. And then these, as I say, get delivered to my local Sainsbury store. So they not only get packed up at Argos, they then get shipped out to a Sainsbury. And then uh, normally it's a few days until I've actually picked them up. So they're all pretty good. So my next order was placed once the new um, gifts with purchase, or sorry, the not gifts with purchase, the new offers had come out. So I basically ordered and got these three sets here. Now these three sets total £30. The reason I'm telling you that is because I had one of these, um, I think it was a Metro voucher code, um, it was from ages and ages ago, I can't even remember which order it was for, but it was a spend over £100-£120 at lego.com uh, and you got a, th a free £30 vouchers. These things take months to come through. I normally forget about them and suddenly I just get an email saying, oh you've got your £30 voucher. I could turn that into certain things, not everything, not Amazon for example, but I could turn it into Argos. So basically these three sets here I got for free because obviously I was also able to double up with those um, uh, those Argos sort of promotions as well. So this is the first set that I got. Now this is uh, a set that I don't, don't normally buy. It's not retiring anytime soon, but it's a Cherry Blossoms 40725. Nice little set this, uh, but these were reduced from £13 to £10. So you can see why I bought this, uh, because that was £10. Uh, so basically that cost, cost me nothing because it was free. Um, and I also got these two sets here which I think is one of the best bargains uh, that I have seen. It's quite a new set. It's a set that hasn't been out that long, but it is this here and it's the uh, the Simba. Uh, it's the Disney uh, 43243 is the set number. This only came out early this year. It's not been out long. I've actually got one of these myself and built one. It's a really nice little set for a small build. Normally £18 each, but Argos are doing them for two for £20. I don't know how long this offer is going to go on for. I'm going to pick up hopefully loads of these. It's not retiring anytime soon, but certainly as I get in the run up to Christmas at these brick fairs and festivals, this is something I be able to sell on for a small profit but still still be making a profit and giving uh, giving people that are buying these hopefully a discount still from the recommended retail price so I got that one there and I got this one here which is basically the same there we go so there's the second one there you can see they're from Argos and these are nice thick boxes as well so I think even Argos are going to have trouble destroying too many of these boxes so this whole order there with those three sets was completely free what I probably will do with those um, I know when I go to my the Hampshire Brick event later in, in October this year I normally give some things away uh, as sort of a um, uh, like a gift basket and, and Tyrone does all these sort of gift baskets and things uh, so I'll normally probably the, the sets that I sort of get myself for for free as well the vouchers that I use I normally give these kind of things in and they're perfect little things for sort of a gift basket anyway I've got more things from uh, from Argos this is from the more recent deals let me show you uh, one of the big sets first of all 
And this is something that I picked up quite a few of recently. I actually managed to get quite a few of these from Sainsbury at some very, very good discounted prices. Now, how is the box on this one? The box is okay. Now, we do have some... You can see here we've got some sort of scuffing marks on the back. I mean, no biggie really, but uh, slightly annoying. But yeah, the box itself is in pretty good nick. The front of the box is fine, just the back of the box has got some little skanks on it, you can see. I think I don't know what someone's done with that. Anyway, so these were these are normally £60 here in the UK, and Argos had them at £48 each. I managed to get two of these, and again, I used some of my perks at work points. I had £10 worth when I placed this particular order. Uh, and that meant I got the whole order for it was £86 uh, from nine, not 96 so that basically meant these were £43 each so £43 for a £60 set see a little bit of a dink in the corner there so not great uh, but I've certainly had worse boxes before from Argos so um, it's probably a bit of a result that they're okay so I now have I think 10 more sets to open and it's probably going to be a really really boring this one so I'll probably open these off camera but I'll open the first one and we have more of these more of the Simbas as I say I could actually bizarrely order 10 normally if you order these order these special deals from Argos they limit you to uh, two or four something like that and I when I went into store recently in Southampton they limited you to two of these but for whatever reason online when these first came out on offer I was able to order these for um, I was order able to t or able to order even 10 of these so I did order 10 so I've got nine more boxes of these to open so hopefully they'll all be in good condition they're all opened and uh, 10 more of those and no more offers on that one so it literally did cost me um, 100 pounds uh, for those particular sets but as i say the recommended retail price is 18 pounds each so it should have cost me 180. i think these are great little sets and i say nice uh, sturdy boxes this is probably the worst box damage i got on all of those uh, particular sets a slight little nick in the corner so i think i can live with that uh, so i just need to spend a bit of time now taking all these stickers off the side so I've got myself a fair few things there, uh, lots of deals and discounts, which is fabulous. Let me show you everything in a slightly better display behind me. That's everything from this haul then. As you can see, quite a lot of duplicates in this haul, but there's some really, really good prices uh, at Argos, which I couldn't quite resist. Uh, please, most of the uh, boxes have actually come in pretty good condition, even though a lot of them were sort of from Argos and very where I have had problems in the past, but they seem to be up in their game a bit now, which makes me more confident and buying things from them in the future without having damaged stock. Uh, what's my favourite thing? I think it has to be the uh, uh, all the... the the Simbas for £10 each. I think that's just a no-brainer. I think if, if, if you're in the UK, if you like this particular set, and you can mix and match it with other sets as well, you don't have to get two of the same sets, you, there are other sets you can get. It's definitely worth getting. I, I paid full price for that uh, when it first came out uh, from the Lego store at £18. It wasn't a set that I saw uh, at all that would be one of these sort of heavily discounted sets at Argos, but really, really pleased it is, because I just, just think it's a nice little build, nice set. It looks great when it's all finished as well. Um, and uh, nice to get some of those gifts with purchase as well uh, I know not a lot of people like that candy shop but I think it's okay I've even got my beach bag as well don't know what I'm going to do with that and some other discounted sets as well uh, so uh, pretty pleased with this haul uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this uh, this uh, unboxing haul as much as I did making it thank you very much for watching until next time uh, take care and I'll see you in the next video bye for now